What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. And this is probably the latest I've ever been with a new hero review, but this little world destroyer definitely deserves our attention. So we are gonna have a look at Farah today. Um, and we're going to have a look at the new Super Elemental Portal. And don't worry if you haven't got her by now because I'm pretty sure she's going to be coming around again very, very soon. So let's get into it. So uh, first of all, let's just open up this portal. I mean, we've got a four star in here, but we've got to have a look at Farah first. She is an incredible, incredible hero. Um, I know this because I've read the card over and over again and I've tried to summon for her, but no luck. Uh, one of my alliance members did manage to grab her, but yeah, um, this is this is a, a, a pretty much a a game destroyer, <laughs> if I'm totally honest. Um, so, uh, first of all, she is a dark hero. Very, very good. Uh, the, the dark heroes, I mean, we just have a lot of dark tanks. I think a lot of alliances, especially in the upper levels, um, do still prefer to use dark tanks, including my own. Um, and she is of the Ranger class. So Ranger class is going to give her a chance to bypass um, defensive buffs when attacking. So it's a 25% chance to bypass um, with troops. Um, so with the uh, Cyclops troops, you can increase that bypass chance. Or with the Ninja troops, you can increase the bypass chance. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the Ninja troops just because you don't get that mana bonus. So probably Cyclops troops for this one will be a good idea. Um, now, she is part of the Super Elemental family. So, of course, she gets the power gems that spawn and deal 20 damage each turn to a random enemy. And she also gets the troop damage modifier. So, her troops obviously deal extra elemental damage against the weaker element. Um, and the troops of the stronger element deal less damage, which is really, really good. Uh, because if you are thinking about using Farah as a tank... Um, obviously, people are going to be trying to take holy heroes up against you, um, and that is going to be to their detriment. And we're going to see why in just a second. But this troop mastery uh, passive is just one of those reasons. Now, let's just switch off the max power preview so she doesn't get too ahead of herself. <laughs> um, but I mean, if you just have a quick look at those stats, uh, we're looking at a thousand and seven attack. That's with no emblems, no limit breaks, nothing. Just a maxed five-star hero with over a thousand attack. I mean, I can remember not long ago either uh, when that would be something that you would aim for to try and get a hero up over a thousand. You'd have to limit break. You'd have to go all attack on the sh on the sword path, uh, on the talent grid, just to try and scrape over a thousand attack. But now uh, we have it right off the bat. Uh, before you've done anything else. So that is huge. A 962 on the defense, again, very respectable, and 1606 on the health. So really decent stats and a total team power of 971. So bonkers numbers right there. Now, her special skill is this crazy, crazy skill uh, called Piercing Falcon, and it's running at fast speed, which we always like. Now, at fast speed, Farah is going to deal 500% damage to the target. She deals an additional 200% damage to as many random enemies as there are dark tiles on the board. So you remember earlier I said <laughs> you don't want to be bringing holy heroes against her uh, because you're going to be looking for holy tiles and before you know it, you've left all the dark tiles on the board and what will happen then is she'll deal 200% damage to as many enemies as there are dark tiles on the board up to a maximum of 12 additional hits now that's above and beyond the 500% um, so she is like the nine-headed beast on absolute steroids she's just going to destroy the whole team um, yes the damage is reduced on each consecutive hit so there's kind of like a thinly like effect going on there but remember, she's running at fast speed. She's hit for 500%. She's added an extra 200% hit and then 12 more hits potentially on top of that or as many hits as there are dark tiles on the board. So she is just going to destroy or wipe 
pretty much an entire team, I think, uh, with that kind of special and that kind of power. Uh, in fact, I'm really surprised that they've released her as is. Um, I mean, maybe it's just because of the low chance. Uh, but then, like I said before, I think that we're going to see Farah featured very soon um, in a Covenant summon. Mark my words if that does happen, because <laughs> I reckon it will. I mean, we that, carry on the theme from the other uh, super elemental heroes that we've seen. Now, all hit targets also get negative 35% against defense against dark, and they get a further 5% decrease every time they're hit during four turns. So, I mean, this is just crazy. Uh, once you've obviously hit and wiped, nearly wiped the whole team, uh, they're going to get additional negative defense against dark. So, she would not only be a really good defensive hero in the tank position, um, but she would also be an excellent uh, offensive hero as well, just with that damage. Um, and of course, the chance to bypass makes her all that more valuable. Um, if paired with the right troop as well on offense as part of a, say, 3-2 or 4-1 or 5 uh, a mono uh, purple stack, whatever, whatever way you like to go in. Um, so yeah just an insanely insanely good hero in fact to the point where i think um personally i think that this hero is a bit too a bit too much um yeah i think she's going to be far too overpowered i mean it does remain to be seen and we'll see how much she gets used uh, but i think once the game gets flooded with faras uh there is going to be quite a lot of kickback <laughs> from a lot of players and i think potentially we would see I mean, we haven't seen nerfs for a long time, but maybe Farah could be one that is in line for a nerf. That being said, if you do manage to grab this hero, go ahead and level her. Use your Alpha Ethers, Limit Breaks. I mean, just look at that. If you do Limit Break, we're looking at 1,354 on the attack, 1,293 on defense, and 2,112 on the health. Um, and she benefits from the dodge ether talent so at the beginning of the battle she gets 20 percent chance to dodge special skills for six turns so add that all together and farah is the complete package um she's just an insanely good hero that's pretty much everything i've got to say on her to be honest and um yeah congrats if you do manage to pull farah let me know how she performs and let me know if i'm you know talking absolute rubbish um and maybe she maybe she isn't that impactful uh, i certainly doubt it <laughs> but let me know now uh the four star hero we've got in here is called lexi okay so uh lexi does have a pretty useful talent and skill um and i think that a lot of people have overlooked this in the videos that i've looked at so far um but uh let's just have a look at her so first of all she is of the monk class so she has a chance to withstand negative uh, status effects pretty decent class not quite as good as the cleric class but it's still okay it's still okay she gets the same family bonus uh with the gems the gems for the four stars deal 15 damage until they're matched um and she gets the same passive with the troop damage modifier so that is useful um now in terms of stats, and uh, as I've said before, uh, with the four-star heroes, because, I mean, personally, I tend to use four-star heroes quite a lot in wars. Um, a lot of times, they don't really see the point of maxing a five-star when a four-star can serve you better. Um, so I always like to look at them uh, without the max power preview. I mean, with the max power preview on, uh, so I know how good they are in comparison to a five-star. Now... Um, she's got a total team power of 950, which is pretty damn high um, with the second limit breaks. She benefits from the damage reduction ether talent. Uh, so at the beginning of the battle, she's all received damage is reduced by 10% for six turns. So really good is one of the better ether talents there. And in terms of stats, I like the fact that she's a bit more defensively built. Uh, we're looking at 883 on the attack, 997 on the defense, and nearly 1,000 defense, and over 1,700 health, which is pretty damn good. Now, she's disappeared again, so forgive me if I just go out and back in real quick. Um, but her special skill is energy conjunction. She's running at average speed, and at average speed, 
she's going to say the caster and nearby allies are going to become soul connected for four turns soul connected enemies just share receive damage so i mean that is just another way of doing a receive damage effect i don't know why they've decided to call it soul connected it doesn't really make that much of a difference uh, the target and nearby enemies then become soul connected for four turns as well and soul connected enemies share receive damage um now this is the bit that I said that everybody's been missing out about this hero. And that is that she would be very useful in tournaments. Now, you've got Wilbur at the four-star level who's an absolute beast in tournaments as he is the only other hero that gives received shared damage among the four stars. Um, but now, if you have a Reflect Red in the tournaments, uh, you can easily use Lexi and give you that extra shared damage across the enemies. Now she also uh, gives plus 94% defense against Holy for four turns. That's not going to be that useful except uh, for in like the tournaments and things like that. Uh, but not as useful in the events. And personally I, I love events. I think that they are uh, one of the best um areas of empires and puzzles that i enjoy uh, obviously alongside <laughs> a very a far second i would say to the wars um, and pvp play but they are pretty decent nonetheless i do enjoy the events and the rewards are really good as well um, so the target and nearby enemies get negative 44 percent defense against dark for four turns so in a pinch she can be used against titans as well uh, to give that negative defense against dark um, if you don't have somebody like sergey for example at the four star level uh, she would be really good uh, to use against holy titans so you give a defense down hero let's say a four star team you could use regard for the attack up uh, use her for the elemental defense down to Bertus for uh, the defense down uh, the regular defense down um, and you've got yourself a pretty decent titan team there um, so yeah, I think that her main use for me, in fact, she's usable in a lot of areas. Um, so I do kind of like this hero. And I think that while she's not doing any damage, uh, she makes a really good support hero. Um, so yeah, I don't think, I don't see anything wrong with this hero. <laughs> in fact, I, I would like to have Lexi and I think I would definitely level her. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I've got to say about Lexi as well. Um, I don't think she looks quite as good as some of the other heroes that we that we've seen recently. Um, but yeah, she's definitely usable. I could definitely find a team to pop her on. Um, so yeah, um, guys, uh, just to bear in mind, uh, do not go crazy in this portal, please. Um, just so you're aware of the odds, uh, the legendary featured dark hero odds are 0.2 percent um, and you could end up with Griffix. i'm not saying he's a bad hero i i didn't initially understand this hero very well uh, but he is quite good in the rush format but he is quite limited in his usability uh, so technically there's a 0.1 percent of a chance that you'll grab fairer if i was you if you want fairer i would wait uh, because i'm sure she's going to be featured with a higher percentage chance in another portal um, and that being said, uh, there are some other really good heroes in this portal, but bear in mind you've not got costumes for any of the sort of older heroes that do have costumes. Um, and you do have a slightly higher chance of a legendary dark hero. Um, you know, it's 2.2% it's, it's in total, um, but I've seen people pull hundreds of times and get absolute crap out of this portal so yeah just be careful buyer beware that's all i'm gonna say um so yeah please do uh let me know how you guys go in your summons if you do drop a few pulls uh let me know what you think of farah um and and just how how op she is um and also uh please do drop us a like and subscribe if you find the videos helpful and you want to stay up to date um, and i'll see you guys all again in the next video Bye for now.